Hey everyone, Josh Davis here, and in this video I wanted to talk about how noise reduction works in the uh, new Lightroom 3 Beta 2. Uh, this is a newer release from Adobe uh, that used to be running just the Beta 1 version of Lightroom. Um, so next with the Beta 2 they have enabled the luminance noise reduction slider, so I just thought I would do a video sort of explaining how noise reduction works here in uh, Lightroom 2, uh, Lightroom 3 rather. So um, let's jump right in. This is an image that I took in a uh, dark sort of lounge. It was pretty dark, and I used no flash here. I had my ISO set to 6400 uh, at f2.8 and 1 15th of a second uh, with the D700. Uh, you might remember some of these pictures uh, from the blog post that I did when I was talking about how the high ISO capabilities of the D700 uh, uh, worked. Um, so first off, there's two kinds of noise here. There's luminance noise and color noise. Um, and it's pretty easy to tell the difference between the two. Let's zoom in here into this back area and you can see what color noise is. is it's all these different little colored specks that kind of look like Christmas lights on a uh, Christmas tree. So that's kind of what the color noise is. That's how you would uh, tell the difference between color noise and luminance noise. Think of it as lights on a Christmas tree. And to get rid of it, all you have to do is drag the colored slider up just to about 30 or 40 or so and actually it, it I think it defaults to 25 uh, on a new image so you can see here before and then after with just a little bit of this color noise reduction it really gets rid of some of those uh, colored dots without degrading the image quality at all uh, next is the luminance noise and what the luminance noise is it's, is it's the actual grain that you see here and to get rid of that, you just have to drag the slider up on the luminance bar. And depending on how noisy your photo is, it might only take a little bit, or it might take a lot. Um, I'm going to drag this pretty high, probably up to about 70, since this was a, a high ISO photo. And you can see here a before and after with our noise reduction applied. This is what it looked like before. And then after our noise reduction, it's pretty incredible um, how good we can get this 6400 ISO image to look. So let's zoom back out and do a before and after. So before, after. You can really see it here in the uh, martini when you look in the blue. This is before. You can see the grain and the noise present there. And then after, with the noise reduction applied, it gets all smooth while still keeping some of the detail here. Now, before in Lightroom 2, they had the color and luminance sliders, but now that they've added these detail and contrast sliders, and uh, just a detail slider over here for color. And what these do is when you crank the detail up, you're saying, I want to preserve some of the detail, or as much of the detail as I can, uh, that gets lost in, in, on the edges when you increase uh, the, the, the luminance slider. So here before, when you increase the luminance slider, you could see it, it does get rid of some of that noise, but what it can do is it can kind of de-sharpen your image a little bit, makes, makes things a little bit soft. So what the detail slider does is it says, I want to keep as much detail as I can in those, uh, in those edges. Now, if you have it all the way down, you can see that it, it looks you know, a little bit smooth. And then as we bring the detail slider up, it brings a little bit more edge detail into the grains and the salt here on the uh, rim of the glass. And what the contrast slider does is it just kind of brings up a little bit more contrast uh, into the areas um, where, where we may have lost it when we increase that luminance slider. So we can bring it all the way down where there's nothing and then bring it all the way up. And it's a very subtle effect. I, I don't tend to like it that much because it looks like it brings a little bit too much noise back into the photo. So I might bring it up a little bit, uh, just maybe to about here. Um, but, you know, depending on your photo, the, the actual luminance and the detail slider Will, will, will be different depending on, on how noisy the image is. This is basically a worst case scenario here at, at 6400 ISO. And granted, the D700 uh, produces some pretty clean files at those high ISOs, so it might be better to test this on uh, you know, like a D200 or a D90. But uh, you can see that you know before here, the picture was pretty noisy. You can see, you can see the noise here present in this this uh, loop view of the photo. So we have before and then after. It's pretty much all gone and it's uh, it's light years ahead of where Lightroom 2 was. Once our noise reduction is applied we can bring up a little bit more sharpening 
which again will bring up some more edge detail in the glass. Now it can be kind of a balancing act with the noise reduction and the sharpening sliders. As soon as you start to bring the sharpening slider up, if you watch uh, the loop view up here, you'll see it does bring back a little bit more noise into the photo. So you need to be careful with how much sharpening you add when you're dealing with the uh, the luminance slider. Um, so it you know it can be kind of uh, tricky depending on your photo. So let's take a look at another example here. Um, if we zoom in on the piano here, we can see a lot of blue blue looking lights and, and different colored lights in here. We bring the color slider up a little bit and you can see it really cleans things up. That's before and then after with just a little bit of color. The color slider doesn't really degrade edge detail at all so start with the color slider and see what that does to your image. Um, it might be you know all, it might be all, all you need but you know again this is another photo that was taken at 3200 ISO so it's pretty noisy we can start bringing up the luminance slider and really smooth things out on the piano there. So if we bring our loop view out here onto the piano, we can see here our before with nothing added and then after. Really cleans things up. And you know, before with images like this, I would have to take the photo into Photoshop and use a, a, a plugin called Noise Ninja to actually get rid of the noise in a photo like this. But with these new sliders, in Lightroom, there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, need for me to be bringing images into Photoshop anymore just for the sole purpose of getting rid of a, a global noise. You know, there might be instances where I might need Photoshop for masking and layers and, and those kinds of things. But for a overall global noise reduction, this, this pretty much does the trick. You can see one more example here on how it works with uh, people. Let me just turn the noise back down to its defaults sharpening as well. This was taken at ISO 800 and for the D700 that's it's a pretty clean file at, at ISO 800 but if you zoom in here you can really see the noise present in the eyes. Um, so if you bring the color slider up just a little bit it'll remove some of the color noise but there wasn't really a whole lot of color noise here to begin with. Uh, the real magic happens when you start to bring the luminance slider up a little bit and you can see it really does kind of smooth things out and we don't even need that much for this photo so we could see a uh, before after I don't know uh, how, how it will look on video once this file is all compressed and everything but it really does clean things up on the skin and the eyes and we can even bring up a little sharpening to bring a little bit more detail back in the eyes as well as pump up the detail slider here and all the way zoomed out we can see before after uh, it's it's a lot more pronounced when you're actually zoomed in to see it so before after so that's pretty much it that's how noise reduction works and a light lightroom 3 again it's currently free right now to try so it can't hurt uh, I recommend checking it out just google lightroom 3 adobe and I'm sure you'll find the link to their website for the free download so um, thanks for uh, checking out my website, bustedshutter.com, and watching my videos and subscribing to my channel, all that good stuff, and I will catch you later. Cheers.